second. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're a frequent watcher, welcome back. I do have a little one here present with me, but she is sleeping so I'm not gonna harass her too much. But today I thought I would do my labor and delivery Q&A for you guys and give you an insight on my delivery and how things went for me. And I know every woman's different, every experience is different. So yeah, if you guys are interested at all in what I went through, stay tuned. Okay, so she might get a little fussy and if that's the case, mom's gotta take a break. Priorities. I've got a bottle handy because she is not about to play me. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video and I hope you guys enjoy. So on Instagram, I asked you guys to ask me um, a few questions that you guys wanted to know about labor and delivery in general and then also mine. I did get a few questions and then there's a few questions that like I didn't get but like things I wanted to know before I gave birth. So I am going to kind of give you guys like a little bit of insight on that. Hopefully anyone who's expecting and watching kind of gets answers to things that they've been curious about and can't find other answers to. Uh, and yeah, good luck ladies. Good luck. My bed is not made. Don't come for me. You guys are lucky that I'm even filming. <laughs> The motivation is so, I'm lacking, hardcore lacking. Okay, so the first question I got is, does it hurt? Okay, so I don't know about most women, but for me, I feel like the cervix checks hurt way worse than the actual labor itself. Um, if I could describe what the labor felt like one through 10, like physically pushing her out, I would say a two. And Okay, I would say physically pushing out was a two, and I say that because I I got an epidural, and I wasn't. What? 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 She doesn't want to hear me talk. Same. I got an epidural, um, so the pushing for me literally. Girl, mommy trying to tell a story. The pushing for me wasn't horrible. And I did not tear, uh, despite the fact that I had an eight pounder, love that for me. Contractions hurt. They literally come in waves and I've seen so many women say this and like I didn't really believe it until obviously I was going through it, but it literally comes in waves. It's like you feel the pain coming and you also feel it going. And the only way honestly that I got through that was visualizing that it was just a gigantic wave taking me towards my little human and granted my labor pains lasted for literally 24 hours i was literally contracting for 24 hours i wouldn't trade it for the world like this little girl is my life i'm obsessed with her so yeah does it hurt absolutely you can't really expect it not to, and trust me, I tried to find every way to avoid labor pain. It's not a thing. There's no way. Did JT pass out? <laughs> not gonna lie, I had no faith in Jay. I really thought that he was going to be like the guys that either um, were so worried about other things than what he should be worried about. But honestly, he kept me so calm and so grounded. I was probably freaking out more than he was. So it was just really nice to have a partner that was like super there. Like in the moment, realizing like I was going through some shit and I needed genuine support. So no, he didn't pass out. I thought I was going to need to have a backup labor and delivery partner because I really did not think he would survive prior. I was like, I don't want you to look at her coming out. Like, I just don't want you to see that because I want you just to love me after this. But he watched and he was actually very motivating. During all the pushing, he was like, babe, like she's right there. I can see her little hair. Like, you got this. And I was like, you know, trying to take the biggest shit of my life. And it worked. So thank you, babe. Pain level, how did you give birth? Uh, Again, pain level for the actual pushing for me personally was a two due to the epidural. Uh, contracting was probably 
a eight to nine and I would say cervix check for me was definitely a 10. Like I couldn't do it. And the only way that they could successfully check my cervix was when I had the epidural and I couldn't feel anything. And I gave birth vaginally because like I told you guys, I was very close to having to get a C-section due to the fact that I was not dilating past seven centimeters. But by the grace of God, my body decided to get it together and I pulled through for myself. And I never in a million years thought that I could push a baby out of my hoo-ha. And I did. Was it everything you expected or better or worse? Um, labor and delivery was nothing like I expected. I kind of thought it would be worse. Everyone makes it seem like it's like, oh my God, like this pain is so unbearable. But with the epidural, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> Everyone tells me it's a cop out and then took the easy way out, but mama's no superhero. I did not sign up to voluntarily put myself in pain. So, so it made my experience way better. I can imagine that without it, it would have been a little bit more traumatic and painful, but it was definitely better than what I expected and I'm glad that my experience went the way it did. Did you have any expectations on anything? Yeah, I expected um, to be like in so much pain that I couldn't breathe um, and that I couldn't talk, eat, or anything. I expected to be, I expected to not want to have any more kids. Like I expected it to be that bad that I was like, nope, not having any more, I'm all done. But like I said, it just wasn't that bad. Maybe I'm just like forgetting, cause like, I know in the moment I'd be like, yeah, no, there's no more. But like the second that they put her on my chest, I was like, you know what, I could do this again. This is all temporary for a lifetime of love. I could do this again. How long were you in labor? Labor pains lasted for 24 hours, a little bit longer. Um, and I was actually like delivering her for an hour 30. I pushed for an hour and 30 minutes. And let me tell you guys, it didn't feel like that when I was pushing. It literally felt like 20 minutes. But when she was like, yeah girl, it took an hour 30. I was like, oh. That's a whole movie. <laughs> That's a whole movie. But it was funny because she was like, you did so well for like your first baby. And out of like a lot of women here, like you had one of the shortest pushes. And I was like, well, I'm like, what's everyone else ranging? She was like four hours. And I was like, excuse <laughs> what? I can't imagine pushing for four hours. I'd be like, honestly, can we just, can I get something to eat? Because I'm hungry. Hour 30 is when you go push. But I, like I said, I had to deal with cramps and other amounts of pain for 24 hours. So I did not have it as easy as people probably thought I did. Are you breastfeeding? I am breastfeeding, um, but I'm also giving her formula. I'm trying to wean off the formula because I just feel like it's easier to breastfeed. Um, it was very, very painful in the beginning, but mama is learning and baby is learning. But the second they put her on me, she latched like, literally immediately um but i was more frustrated because i was like there's no milk yet because i was unaware that it took three days for milk to come in so i was like she's just not getting enough nutrients like i'm not doing enough and i kind of felt horrible like in the middle of the night when mom was tired i pop a titty in her mouth we call it night she gets her little nutrients ba boom ba bing everybody's happy the next question is did you get an epidural yes i did I am not going to sugarcoat it. I did. I would do it again. I will do it again. I will not ever put myself in a situation to get to the hospital too late to where they're like, yeah, you can't get an epidural because I'm going to say, well, I don't know what to tell you because I want one. And the gentleman who did my epidural did amazing. Everything about it was perfect. It literally feels like a bee sting. Like people say that and it's like, oh, does it really? Yeah, it's awesome. He asked me like, okay, I'm going to test it out and we're going to see how it feels. Uh, so he inserts the needle and then he inserts like a tube in your spine, which is, it sounds scary, but it's not. You don't feel it. I promise. And he like injects a little bit of the epidural into you and like your legs immediately go numb. Mine started working within literally five minutes. Um, the contractions, they were so severe. And I was like, well, I don't feel them, so can I have some apple juice? Like, I just, I just didn't care. 
and it was nice. I'm not gonna lie, it was really great. But yeah, he inserted it. He asked me if I felt my left leg. He inserted a little bit too much upper dome into my right leg, and it felt like painfully numb. Okay, so for the next question, it says, Did you poop? I did not poop. But for all the ladies who are wondering, your first poop, mine felt so good. For those ladies who totally know what I mean, it's like when you're in your period and you have to poop really bad and you think it's a cramp and like you poop and then it feels really good. That's what it felt like. I, I was so scared. I was like, I'm afraid to poop because I just pushed a baby out of somewhere that's very close to my who, you know what I mean? But it, it was cool. It was not like, <laughs> 10 out of 10. And then the pee. The pee did not hurt at all. I had a catheter in, because obviously when you get an epidural, you have no feeling in your legs. Uh, so when she put the catheter in, which is what I was kind of scared of, I was like, oh, catheter, mm, that sounds scary. No, I didn't feel it. I didn't even know. Like, she would come and change, like, my little bedpan, and I was like, oh, when did I even pee? I don't feel any of it. Because I also had my water leaking, so I thought it was just water, but I guess it wasn't. I guess it was more than that. And it didn't sting at all. Like, at all. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's the worst feeling ever. Yeah, no. It didn't hurt at all. And I felt myself peeing because epidural was starting to wear off like almost immediately. I didn't, yeah, no. My next question is, how are you doing? Okay, so when they say postpartum is no joke, they absolutely mean it. Ladies, you have to remember to seriously take care of yourself after this because it gets hard, but my mental health is oddly enough, I feel like a little better than prior to having her like i just i don't know i feel like i have a purpose now and like i made my best friend and i'm in love with her so it's like i would feel selfish being sad because it's like why she didn't ask to be here it was my choice to have her to keep her to love her to raise her and i'm happy that i made that decision because she's genuinely everything i've ever wanted and more so yeah I don't know, I just, I'm happy. She's awesome. My hoo-ha is healed. It's nice, it's really nice. Love that for me. Okay, so that's pretty much most of the questions I got. A lot of them were very repetitive, so I just kind of answered them all in a gist. In a jiffy, in a jumble. I answered them all together. You guys know what I mean. Just to kind of answer some questions that I wanted to know. How soon can you get an epidural? I got mine at two centimeters dilated. But that was because my contractions were super close and they didn't want to risk me going into like super, super early labor and not having an epidural. And I also was not having it. So I was like, yeah, pop that sucker in my spine. I'm ready. So that's something I didn't know. I didn't know that you could get it so soon because I literally, it's funny because I was like, can I get that at like one centimeter? Yeah. It depends, I guess, on the person. We had a burp deck. Oh, my hands are in. I know. Good job. Good job. Oh, don't throw up my mommy. Don't throw up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, burp myself. You are a scratcher. Okay. Hi. Okay, yeah, you want cuddles? Okay. Sorry, a little intermission. Hey, baby. So I went in. I didn't realize that you got epidural so early. Okay, when they say you can't eat, you cannot eat. But I had so much apple juice. Ladies, if you are stuck and you're not dilating, ask for the peanut ball. 10 out of 10, probably what saved me. So uncomfortable though. Like, it's just very uncomfortable. Especially when you have an epidural. Okay, so a question that I had for everyone was, when the epidural wears off, what do you do? I went through four bags of epidural, which probably sounds so bad, but I, like I said, I was there for a very long time. I wasn't dilating and they just didn't want me to have to go through that pain, which I'm so grateful for the woman that delivered me. She was incredible. I already told Jay, like if we move from where we're currently located, I will fly her out to deliver our next baby. Like, I love her. She saved me. But when the epidural, like there's a bag and there's a button that you push to kind of get more epidural. And it is on a timer, so you can't just like OD on epidural. It's just not a thing. You push the button and then when that bag, like when the, it's like kind of like an IV. So when the IV 
like when the bag itself like finishes they can put a new one on again i went through four oh, that's embarrassing no it wasn't because i ain't feel nothing and i got a baby out of it <laughs> but yeah um so that is another thing i was always worried about because i was like if that one back runs out like do i have to suffer no you don't um well i didn't at least so hopefully no one else has to i never saw my mucus plug um everyone was like that's like a sign of labor like when you see it i didn't see it so know that you won't always see um, your mucus plug fall out um what else did i not know um your contractions can literally start whenever and they can be as far apart whenever it's so <sighs> It sucks because I, I know that if I were to call the hospital and say my contractions are two minutes apart but only one centimeter dilated, they'd probably be like, you're nuts and you gotta wait until you're closer or something stupid. So just, <sighs> I'm praying for the women who don't have understanding doctors and nurses because mine were great and understood that I, the pain was like immaculate. Pushing is hard. My doctors were trying to work with me and I was kind of like can I sit up like can I let gravity work and she's like you have an epidural so it's kind of hard long story short no um I knew my body however the woman who was helping me push was kind of not listening to me which was really annoying because I was like this is not working like I need to like sit up more and I need to like hold on to like my legs and she was like no you need to lay down you need to hold on to the the handles I'm like ma'am I've pooped like this before and this isn't coming out anytime soon which is probably why my freaking birth took an hour sometimes I don't always listen this might be TMI for a lot of ladies but my the lady who physically delivered my baby had a very very hot towel pressed against the area between and you know what I'm saying and that saved me I think from tearing like saved saved me so, I mean, if you can request that, unless they already do it. When they put her on me, skin to skin, you guys all cried with me, and that was so nice. Thanks so much for watching my labor and delivery video, guys, seriously. Uh, yeah, I'm not really even sure what else there is to really talk about. Um, hey, big girl. That was just kind of a gist of things that I thought you guys should know, or things that people have been asking me over and over again. But yes, she was eight pounds, four ounces. She was 22 inches long. That is pretty much it. I don't even know what else to talk about. Kind of try to give you guys as much as I could. So that is it for today's video. I hope to see you all on the next. Thank you so much for watching. And I actually wanted to say a special thank you to Kathy for sending us things for baby girl off the registry. We did get them a long, long time ago. Um, however, I was going to make a what I got for my baby hair video and then she just came very early. So I never got around to it. But I did want to let you know specifically that I did get these gifts. It meant the world to us. So thank you so much again, Kathy. And her name reveal is coming very soon, guys. So stop bullying me. That is it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.